I think the multimodal AI in the simplest terms is just the fusion of, of all the input modalities and output modalities that humans are familiar with. Like your model is able to take in text, audio, video, images, and it's able to both create text like we might see in a, in a you know, Word document, and it's also able to sort of output images um, and audio and, and in the future video as well. I do think audio as an input modality and output modality is something that like we see much more commonly being used. It is one of the new UX paradigms for how people are going to be interacting with, with AI models, not doing like a prompt, I'm going to go put a bunch of text into a chatbot, um, but instead speaking to models like we spend a lot of our time speaking to humans. Putting a little mic icon in your chatbot is like not the sort of perfect implementation of this technology. There's like all these really deep and nuanced experiences that can be created. Um, and this is at the application layer for people building companies. Like this is the opportunity to differentiate. The way that you differentiate is like you go build a deep product experience around these modalities. And I think we'll see the opportunity for people to do that more and more like as the you know, knowledge of how to build the right products in the, in the AI ecosystem is like more widely shared. The lines between all of the historical boundaries of like people doing stuff as humans are becoming incredibly blurry. And like a lot of that is driven by how much innovation is happening in the ecosystem or like if you're just some random person playing around with a language model like you could actually figure out something that no one else has figured out and there's very few domains that that that's the case today um, and i think the sort of barrier to entry is one of the things that gets me excited about the ai space because like the barrier to entry as someone who's using ai and building with it has never been lower than it is today and like it only continues to go down into the right um, so i think it has a bunch of like really positive outcomes